New details in that South Carolina shooting, a police officer seen on camera shooting and killing an unarmed man. Officer Michael Slager now charged with murder, fired from the force. ABC Steve Osinsami is in North Charleston this morning. And we want to warn you again that some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Robin. That officer remains jailed here. And today, authorities may release dash cam video from his squad car that might show more of what led to this shooting. In response to all of this, authorities here are ordering body cameras for every single police officer in this city. This morning, new details about the police officer in this disturbing video. and new video of 33-year-old Michael Slager shortly after the shooting telling his account to an officer. The North Charleston policeman and former Coast Guard member charged with murdering Walter Scott has been fired. We are doing our best um, here not only as a city but as a police department. Uh, we're going to continue to strive to do what's right. For the first time, the man who took that video is coming forward. Faden Santana says he saw Slager and Scott struggling before the shooting and heard the sounds of the officer triggering his stun gun. But as he told NBC, he, Scott, never used the taser against the cop. Slager lives just over a mile from the empty lot where police say he went too far, gunning down this unarmed African-American father of four. He has yet to enter a plea. According to police reports, Scott and an unidentified passenger were stopped by the officer in a parking lot a block away from the shooting where the passenger remained. The officer has a family too. His wife is eight months pregnant and his two stepchildren are 11 and 13 years old. Neighbors say they were a quiet, everyday family. He was into his job. He, he said he wanted to go uh, federal, um, and that was his next stop. Slager's bosses say that despite his dismissal, the city will continue to provide his wife health insurance until their new baby is born. We think that is the humane thing for us to do, and we're going to do that. Protesters are in the streets and at City Hall, demanding more answers from the chief of police. You're the mayor. We want to talk to the chief of police. But with state authorities running the investigation, local police could say very little. Police are struggling now to respond to so many other questions about that video. One big one, why does it appear that the officers failed to administer CPR as Scott lay dying? Robin? Yes, there still are many, many questions. Thank you, Steve.